Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Are we getting free packs to start FC25? That's the question that I want to try to answer today because we had some big time news revealed yesterday. EA had a little Easter egg for us hiding in some spot that really not a lot of people were looking for that might give us some detail on whether or not those welcome back or loyalty rewards will be back in FC25. That has big market impact as well. We'll talk about that in today's video and answer that question. Are we getting those packs that are so helpful to the start of Ultimate Team this year? If you're excited for FC25, it's less than two weeks away. Drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, let's get straight into the conversation by just talking about what are these welcome back packs? Because if you've not played Ultimate Team before, this is one of your first years, or if you haven't played since the old FIFA days, you may not know. Well, the last time that we had these welcome back packs or loyalty packs as they're called as well was FIFA 20. Those people who played FIFA 22 or years before that were, I guess, foot founders or some other variation of foot founders, right? They had played FIFAs before, they played Ultimate Team before, and what EA did was they gave us packs to start off the next year. If you went forward on to the next FIFA or FC, well, I guess it was only FIFA back then, with the same account. If you went forward from PlayStation to PlayStation or Xbox to Xbox, you would get these packs on your same account. And guys, the packs weren't even that bad. They were actually so crucial to help us start our ultimate teams because we all start off with literally nothing, right? You open that starter nation pack, you get a few players from your starter nation, and then you're just like, well, what do I go and do, right? Especially when you're on the web app and you can't do a whole lot. Like this is kind of how it looks with these welcome back packs. So the packs that they would give us, there were two different kinds, right? The first one was like a standard 5k gold pack. And those were actually helpful because as you saw, I packed that Otamendi right there. That was really helpful for we're doing some of those advanced SBCs straight off the bat. Of course, as you're watching me from FIFA 23, get in my welcome backpacks. Don't forget to do your preview packs. That's a key part of the new ultimate team every year. And as I open a few more of these, you can kind of see how they look. I packed a hunter in this pack, which was some easy coins. I was excited about that. And these ones, these packs right here were the good ones. These were given out by EA each and every year. The gold players featuring an 80 plus rare players pack. And it was tradable. Guys, it was 12 gold players, one of them 80 plus. I think EA, depending on the number of years in a row that you had played of Ultimate Team, would give you like three or four or five of these. And I packed an Inform straight away at the beginning of FIFA 23, which was an easy 10,000 coins. As you can see, I was very excited about that because I didn't even go and try to sell the card. I just quick sold the card so that I could get myself some coins. And that was huge. This was tremendous to get off the ground in the early games of Ultimate Team because you had some players to work with. You had players that like this Ben Asser. I thought, man, that could actually go into my starter team an 82 rated card probably sold for a couple thousand in the market but be a pretty good center defensive mid you looked at that and then you also looked at the rest of the gold rares and gold commons that were very helpful for doing like i said those advanced spcs these packs were so crucial to get you some coins potentially pack a nice player that you could put into your team or your starter team or pack somebody insane and get super lucky and then hold on to that player as their price appreciated in value but last year guys everything stopped and FC24, we didn't have those. We didn't have those pre-order packs. And if you remember the web app last year on FC24, it was terrible. Guys, like literally we went into the game and all we had the ability to do was do like the foundation SBCs. It was even a grind to try to get working on the foundations SBCs, the advanced SBCs as they're called, right? You could go and do foundations one, which was four different segments. But then after that, to try to get some coins, you had to go and try to do some... Um, objectives like list up a whole bunch of cards in the market to try to get objectives done to get yourself a few more coins it was the slowest and deadest web app of all time there were no packs to open to help you get going it was just you were stuck right and it was like we all got excited to log on to the web app and get going with the new game and then we were just like stuck flat for a day or two until we, we were able to get on the early access um you know, the ultimate edition pre-order early access of the game. So last year it all stopped. And the reason why it stopped was we went from FIFA to FC. Now, of course, last year, remember at the beginning, it was all about the founder status, right? You were a FC founder. If you got on the FC 24 ultimate team by the early stage of the game before November or whatever it was, of course, we had the founders evos, which you probably remember because they're still around and 
The only good Founders Evo was the first one, 100%. We remember that one, right? The Darwin Nunez, the Werner, all those cards at the beginning of FC24. But that sort of thing was all wrapped around this founder status, right? Kind of taking the place of the FIFA founders back from FIFA 10 when FIFA Ultimate Team was first started. Now, with this happening last year, we kind of already touched on it, but I want to touch on it again. The market was absolutely chalked last year to start FC24. It was completely different than all the other FIFA Ultimate Teams of old because nobody was packing cards. I remember going on the market and I think looking at like Gold Timo Werner or whoever it was. It was like a gold card of a Pacey Striker. It might have been Timo Werner. And there was like one or two of them on the market. It was crazy, guys. And I want to show you the difference in how the market reacted last year in FC24 with Holland and Vinny Jr. compared to FIFA 23 when we actually had both of these cards more packable from a year where we actually had the tradable welcome back packs from EA. So take a look at FIFA 23 where Vinicius Jr. was 86 rated. Yes, a little bit more packable than what he was in, in 89 and in FC 24. But he started off during that web app early access period at a paltry 100,000 coins. And with people getting on the game, people packing this card more often in FIFA 23 than they were in FC 24 because there were more tradable packs around, people packing this card more often. He went from 100,000 coins as people got on the game, opened packs because the game actually opened up, got coins, and the meta best player started to rise. This was something that we saw every single year. Every single year on FIFA, we would see the meta cards start really low and jump up a price. 100K to almost 300,000 coins in a matter of days. And sure, it drops off after that because that's how it works. We get new cards. Holland, that same year, this is the crazy rise that everybody remembers on Erling Holland. He went from 38,000 coins during the web app. The lengthy meta explodes uh, into popularity and he goes from 30K to 400,000 coins. Now that was an astronomical rise. There were some other circumstances there that led to this rise being as crazy as it was. That was FIFA 23 though, where we had tradable supply earlier on that supplied those cards on the market from these sorts of packs. People couldn't afford them yet because even the people that were selling them in that early period, it kept their prices low because there weren't that many coins to go around on the game, right? That's why this happens. Last year in FC24, without those tradable pre-order packs, prices started high because people were not packing those cards early on at the game at all. And once people got the coins to catch up with these cards, they were still so rare that they were overvalued. And we had so many more untradable packs as well and so much more content at the start of last year, 24, that look at these prices drop. Vinny Jr. went from 1.2 million coins down to 800K on the big market crash that happened right before the first weekend league and right around the first and second weekend leagues because everybody expected as it happened in previous years for these meta cards to go up for those weekend leagues but last year with the beginning of the game being as different as it was they went down erling holland went from 400 500 000 coins down to 300k and just dropped like a stone after that because the beginning of the year of the market was completely different now yes you might be thinking well nate because last year the advanced species were untradeable that's another reason why those cards were not hitting the market and there was less of them and everything was more rare which that is a fair point but also in fifa 23 these species were untradeable as well fifa 23 was the first year that these species were untradeable last year they were actually tradable for a small amount of time but barely anybody could do them because it was only a few hours or maybe a half a day before ea turned these from tradable to untradable they're going to be untradable this year as well so it's not looking good if we don't have these welcome back packs for the market and for just our user experience on the game it's not good it's a lot more fun when we have these packs back now last year it kind of made sense why we didn't have them right because i guess ea wanted to switch over the whole series right you go from fifa you go to fc there's no kind of legendary or there's no loyalty with FC since it was a brand new game and like we talked about it was all about the founder status which started last year now let's get into the news guys that EA has been hiding a little bit of something from us because yesterday shout out to some of the guys in the twitch stream and in the chat for seeing this and finding it and bringing it to my attention but if you go to the store i'm going to show you guys on the playstation store because it's here but there's also on the xbox store a better 
kind of description of this. If you go into the store, you, know, you go down here, you go into the game and the legal info and you scroll down. This feels very sneaky. We're reading the fine print. But as you can see here, there is a little bit of a paragraph that says the third paragraph up in the bottom. Introducing club membership, the next phase of loyalty in FC25. Available to fans that have played FC24 before September 27th and play 25 before November 1st. So there's this new thing called club membership and on the xbox store which i have pulled up through two screenshots here somebody on twitter shout out to lee rudkin and then also in the actual xbox store but it's pretty hard to see here the way it looks on the screen this screenshot is probably the best right if you read the fine text here it's got the same thing that the the playstation store says except it details the club membership even more introducing club membership FC25 club members will receive a host of exclusive benefits across the year, including a badge and kit to represent their status, whoop de doo and rewards, ding, 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 and rewards across all your favorite game modes. I'm guessing that means ultimate team, pro clubs, career mode, etc. Once again, all founders will be able to unlock their founders exclusive cosmetic items. So that last sentence right there kind of differentiates founders and the, this new club membership thing. Now, we already mentioned Founders a little bit, right? We know about this. My question, first of all, is, are we going to get any Founders rewards that are packs for FC24 into 25? I was thinking, and I remember thinking last year, oh, we didn't get Founders rewards for packs. Maybe we'll get some in FC25. Well, everything inside of this from last year looks cosmetic. That sentence that we just read here, all Founders will be able to unlock their Founders exclusive cosmetic items seems cosmetic and has nothing to do with rewards. And of course, the way that EA words some of these things, you can never really tell. We're going to have to wait for more information on some of this because there's this sentence here too. Look forward to additional founder-only rewards in the FC franchise as it continues. Does that mean packs? We don't know. But I want to detail what I see here because at first when I read this thing about club memberships, I thought, ooh, we might be getting welcome backpacks. But think about it introducing club membership the next phase of loyalty if this is a brand new thing about loyalty and stuff for the new fc25 game it's brand new there's no loyalty if you're starting a new loyalty program right there's no tracking back the only tracking back we have right now is fc founders which seems to be all cosmetic as we mentioned so I got my hopes up when I first read this that we were actually going to get welcome backpacks because I saw this say including rewards across all your favorite game modes but I think we're probably getting our hopes up a little bit too much. I don't know if we're getting packs back, guys. I hope that we are. I feel like this doesn't definitively say if we are or not. I feel like it opens the door. But if I'm thinking with my EA brain, like how EA likes to think and how they do stuff on this game, I think they're not going to give us packs like this. This sounds like the start of some sort of club membership loyalty program where we will get packs in the future but we're not getting packs right now. So I'm going to quick sell all these, ignore that. That's kind of my thoughts at the moment. I don't think we're going to get welcome backpacks inside of FC25. I would love to be wrong. Please, EA, prove me wrong. Give us some nice founders packs back, even if it's not that many because it's only one year. That would be so amazing because, guys, if you do not remember, or even if you do remember last year's web app period, we do not want that to happen again because it sucked. It was terrible. Literally, you logged onto the web app and then you played for 15 minutes and you had nothing to do after that until you could actually get on the real game. And part of the web app grind before that was so fun was going through these packs, doing some of the starter SBCs like we like we mentioned, and, and doing this sort of vibe. Like It was fun to do this on the web app to get into the game for the first time, manage your team, do a couple of SBCs, maybe even complete an objective or two, and have these five packs, six packs, to open that was so much of the fun like think about promo fridays on this game this year the most fun promo fridays were when they gave us a couple packs for free like an 85 plus pack 85 double later on the year 85 times 3 85 times 10 it's way more fun when they just give you a couple of starter handoffs to get things going right and that's why those packs are so crucial so there's a glimmer of hope with this guys but my guess is we are not going to get those packs i'd love to be wrong but you know what's going to cement this and really give us information on it is if we get these launch update pitch notes these are the ones from last year i pulled them up almost every single fc25 video now because these are going to give us so much more information this was like a whole hour of reading material last year I hope we get another one like this this year. They're probably going to be coming soon. Guys, these could be coming like 
in the next two days. They could be coming on Monday or Tuesday of next week. It's going to be here very soon. I would I would venture to say in the next four to five days, we're going to get that pitch notes article, that pitch notes article that I keep mentioning. I can stop mentioning it then. We can do a huge video on it and learn a lot about FC25. So that's when we should learn more. But as of right now, I would expect to have no welcome back packs or loyalty packs in FC25. I wish I had a more fun end of the video to talk about here, um, but it's looking grim again. It is. Now, I'm going to set my expectations there because if they are going to give us some packs, that'll be a nice surprise. And we'd love to talk about it more when we get that information that would confirm it officially from EA. But that's kind of my thought process right now. And last thing to end the video off, if you're playing FC24 for the objectives and the XP, like I am doing at the moment. Today is a big day for XP. Just wanted to mention this because I know a lot of you guys are fighting for this level 30 for this Dino and this transfer forward to FC25 pack as well. The weekly objectives are going to refresh today at Rivals Rewards. You might get some XP from Rivals Rewards as well. And that'll be your chance to get some more XP and get that level closer to Dino at level 30. Your boy's a little far behind here. I'm at 15. I've had an, or almost 15. I've had a nice jump up here. I did the future stars kits. The weekly objectives got to do. I'm about to get 1500 more for playing one more game of squad battles, two more games of squad battles. Just kidding. Uh, from that Neymar objective. And we will be just a little bit closer to getting that Dino at level 30. But hopefully we get some more XP today. We might have an actual FC24 video tomorrow on the channel, guys, because there actually might be the one card that everybody is still chasing right now on FC24. There might They might be dropping it as an SBC because they dropped Mendy and Palmer yesterday in a draft objective. There's one more card everybody wants, and it might be an SBC tomorrow. So we'll talk about that. We'll get some more information loaded tomorrow on, or today on Thursday before tomorrow on Friday and see what happens there. But if you guys are excited for FC25 like I am, drop a thumbs up on the video. We're going to keep doing the FC25, mostly that type of content because that is what is at least exciting me the most right now in this limbo period as we're getting ever so close for it. And I know a lot of you guys have been like checked out, looking at FC24, playing other games, taking a break. And I know it takes a little bit to get back into it. So I want to make sure that we're having all the proper conversations and get all the knowledge and the info to you guys to help us have the most successful start of FC25. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description, as is the second channel. Catch you guys there. It's Nate Account and have a good one. Peace.